Sheldon, six of the seven games against this team this year have now been decided by one goal. So what is it about Cleveland that creates such a tight matchup? I, I think they're I think they're a good team. It gives us fits. They got a lot of experienced players that are real difference makers, and they're a lot for us to handle. And I asked uh, Nick Baptiste this earlier: Was the third period a case of you guys kind of letting your uh, foot off the gas pedal a little bit, or was it them just having a great period? I thought the third period was just a matter of the first and second periods catching up with us. We were terrible through the game. First period was probably worse than the third. Um, but we, we scored two goals on the ch two chances that we had, but it, was just, it wasn't a good game from our guys from start to finish, so clearly it was a very poor coaching job done here today because the team was not prepared to play after two practice days. Um, so that's extremely disappointing. Luckily, we were able to get two points here today, two important points, but uh, we've got to be a whole lot better than that, and we've got to have a lot more accountability as a coaching staff um, all the way through our lineup uh, to be better than that. Just elaborate on what about the first period you said made it worse than the third, like what specific things uh, detrimental? Well, we just, we were in our zone virtually the entire period. We never established any sort of game down in their, in their side. And we got stuffed in the neutral zone over and over and over again. So as a result, they were four checking us with five guys consistently, which made it hard to break out. And you know, we're team who thrives off of our ability to break out of our zone. And, and uh, when we don't do that, things fall apart pretty quickly. So I really didn't like our first period at all. I thought we got, got going at the start of the second. Um, and that was really good for us. We didn't give up very much uh, in the second period. So the second period, I guess, would be where some of our positives would have been. But um, that first and third, uh, you know, were, were no good. First was offensively. We just didn't have any real purpose to our game, and you know, that set us up for failure. And in the third period, we were just, you know, we were on our heels and it couldn't get going. Nick Baptiste seemed pretty involved. I was thinking again, but, you know, still hasn't scored yet. Do you think it's a matter of having to adjust to play with guys like Bracco and Brooks and the way they play? I don't think it's anything specific with the way that they play or anything like that, but it does take time to get, you know, to establish some chemistry. It takes time to learn the system. And, um, whenever you come here with new surroundings, new system, new people, you're, you think a lot on the ice, and that's not a good thing, especially on offense. Uh, you know, so I think he's had a lot of chances in the two games he's played for us, and they haven't fallen. But, but um, I think uh, over time he'll get comfortable and things will start to go in. When a, when a number of his Rowlers teammates went back down, Brady Ferguson stayed up and stuck around with the team. What have you seen sort of, uh, any play today got an assist, what have you seen sort of from his evolution from his uh, brief cameo last season to even now? Well, I, I think he's getting you know a little bit more comfortable. Uh, I still don't think we've seen the best from him, though I thought he had a good game for us today. He made an impact in the game. Um, but uh, it takes time to adjust to new levels. Um, He's obviously found a, a level of a comfort in the ECHL, and he's done a great job for that team, and that's why he's earned the opportunity to be here. Uh, but now he has to find his way to get comfortable here so that he can feel like himself and go out and make plays. Part of that is on us to give him opportunity. I thought today, um, you know, especially two periods, was probably the most opportunity he's had to get on the ace consistently, and uh, I thought he did well on it, so that's hopefully something for him to build on. Sadden and Milligram played quite a bit today. The game responded in terms of the absence of well, I think they've I think they've done well, but you know you can see at times like this when you're missing those types of players, so much responsibility falls on those guys in so many minutes. Uh, you know, I, I thought it affected them in a game like this today. Um, and again, it was a hard game because uh, they're constantly forcing, they're, are constantly forced to play through four or five four checkers. Um, <clears throat> and that makes it real hard for them to get open, and get, get some space to make plays and do the things that they'd like to do. Uh, so I thought it was a tough game for those guys, but it's a tough game for most of our team today. And when you don't establish a good good team game, um, it makes it hard on individuals. Do you have any update on Rosen's status this morning? Uh, no update, no change. He still hasn't been able to put his foot into his skate, so it's you know clearly it's not uh, anytime soon.